Welcome to the presentation on the golden ratio in photography. This is Hector Zapata. Today, you will learn what the golden ratio is, a bit of its background, learn about the benefits of using it, find out how it's used in photography, we'll view a brief tutorial about it, and conclude with examples of the golden ratio in some pictures that I've chosen. Ready? Let's go. So, what is the golden ratio? Sometimes it's referred to as the divine proportion or the golden spiral because it's found in nature quite a bit. Here we have some examples of the golden ratio in plant life, in astronomy, biochemistry, and in marine wildlife. The golden ratio has a proportion of 1 to 1.618. It is actually a cropping technique used in photography to bring balance to a photo composition. So whether you're shooting in portrait or in landscape mode, you can crop your pictures in the golden ratio. We'll see some examples of that coming forth later on. A little bit of background on the golden ratio. It is based on the Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence is calculated by adding the previous two numbers to get the number that we are currently at. So zero and one gives us our one by one, our one by one gives us our two, two and one gives us three, three and two gives us five, five and three gives us our eight, eight and five will give us 13, 13 and eight will give us 21, and so on and so forth. Some benefits of using the golden ratio. Let's talk about that. I'm gonna mention just a few of them briefly. One is that it captures the eye. That's the main benefit of the golden ratio. The golden ratio is set to give a sense of harmony and balance to your picture. According to John Sparkman, putting your subjects along a curved line rather than a straight line draws the viewer's eyes around the picture so that they can see the entire picture. How is the golden ratio used? Here we have an example of Ansel Adams and his picture in the golden ratio here. The golden ratio allows your eye, the eye of the viewer, to focus on the main part of the image that you want them to see. Using video editing software, photographers can crop their photos using the golden ratio. We have a special guest via a short video who's going to talk to us about using the golden ratio in Adobe Photoshop. Welcome to Affinity Photo. I just want to give you a quick tip for when you're using the golden spiral overlay when cropping. So if we go ahead, select the crop tool and select the golden spiral overlay here, Depending on the composition of your image, you might want to have the spiral in another corner. So for example, I want to align the spiral point with this dog's head here. All you need to do is hold down the shift key and tap O on the keyboard. And you will flip the golden spiral like so. So then I can simply go ahead and recompose my image as I need to, click apply, and I've gotten the crop I'm after. So there we go, just a really quick tip on flipping the golden spiral overlay. Thank you for watching. Okay, let's look at a few examples of the golden ratio. Here we have a picture by Henry Cartier Bresson. Notice how the spiral automatically goes to the main subject of the image. Here's another example by Dr. Court Wilhelm. Again, the spiral takes your eye to the main subject of the image. And a third picture that I took while on vacation a couple of years ago, notice again, the spiral takes, this takes your eye to the main subject of the image.
there are many applications that can be used for cropping pictures in the golden spiral mode. Among the many editing software pieces that are out here, you'll find Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Lightroom. These are the two that I prefer, my personal choices. However, most modern photo editing software do contain this crop feature. Have fun and bring the best out of your pictures.